And that's uh, little Kelly Marie. That was her second birthday. Unfortunately, it was the last party that she ever had. She didn't make it to her third birthday. But today is her sixth birthday. Welcome back to Prime News. I'm Vinnie Politan. Thank you so much for being here. Phone lines are open. 877-TELL-HLN. Uh, a few moments ago, and, and you saw it live here on Prime News, I want to show it to you again what happened. Uh, this is on Suburban Drive. And, and tonight we knew there was going to be an unveiling of a memorial, a plan for a Kaylee Marie Anthony and for uh, helping find kids who, who, who are lost to raise aware awareness. What we didn't know was that Grandpa George and Grandma Cindy were going to show up tonight. And I want to play for you the video from our affiliate, Central Florida News 13. Uh, it's, it's in its raw state. We're just going to play it for you. And you'll get to see George and Cindy and the people and the balloons, the purple balloons. Uh, you'll also hear the reporter speaking because she was doing her reporting for Central Florida News 13. But you'll also hear her speak to George Anthony. Let's listen in. The children and when they watch these uh, butterflies release, like I said, soon they'll be moving down the street um, to release the balloons. We're also hoping to see a make um, plans and re artist renderings of a permanent memorial that a group okay. is hoping to um, to put together yeah, here in honor there, of Kaylee. I'm going to actually see if George wants to say anything uh, as he comes up here. This is a number group. They're actually moving down the street to release the balloons here. Um, this has been, the turnout has been quite a mess. People have been here all afternoon. Uh, many that are designing and wanting and hoping to raise the funds for this memorial are saying that uh, they just want something here more permanent, that the, the teddy bear and things are soaked and they're dirty and they'd like for people to come here because people have been visiting here from all over the world to be able to come here. George, could I ask you a quick question? I just wonder if you want like, to say anything uh, or live uh, to the people that are here with you today. Uh, just that this is uh, for Kaylee today. This is Kaylee's day. This has nothing to do with Cindy and I and, and I'm not taking away from any, anyone here. I know they're here to honor her and it's for her birthday. She's six years old today. George, have you seen the plans for the memorial here for your granddaughter? I haven't seen anything at all. This is the first time I've been here and I don't know how long. It's hard to come here. It's hard to come here. Understandably. But what do you think about a permanent memorial here? Would would that help ease your coming here? Would you come here? I think if everything is done very tastefully and it also brings awareness for other missing children, that's what this has to be about. It's, I mean, it's grand. It's going to gravitate with, with Kaylee for people to come here. But look at the other children who haven't come home yet. They need to come home. Thanks, George. Thanks for talking with me. Appreciate it. And George Anthony, uh, gracefully uh, speaking to the public, we know it's been difficult uh, for them uh, throughout this entire, you know, period, uh, three years that it's been, uh, but also difficult post-verdict for them. Uh, but today, I actually saw some smiles from Cindy Anthony, uh, Stacy Kaiser, Stacy Honowitz, uh, with me tonight. Stacy Honowitz, it, it was nice to see a little bit of a smile from Cindy Anthony tonight. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, she was the bad guy for a long time, and people, I think, today have to look at it and say she's still the grandparent of a deceased grandchild who was a co-parent, really. I mean, we saw all those videotapes. When we saw her in action, she was really parenting uh, this child. So, yes, it is nice to see. I'm sure it's heartbreaking for her to be there at the same time. I'm sure there's some... I'm not a psychologist. Stacey would know what the feeling is. Um, I don't want to say bittersweet, uh, you know, it's, it's bitter and it's not sweet going there today, but I'm sure there's, there's double feelings of a memorial's going to be set up, no one's ever going to forget this child, um, but it's at the place where the remains, like you've been saying, have been left. So I'm sure the emotions are running wild with her and with George today, but I guess, like you said, Another interesting um, thing. her smile at some point, I yeah. guess, is healthy. And, and something else we saw, it's, it's Cindy with George. They are still absolutely together. Let's go to the phone lines. I want to know what you uh, have to say tonight, your thoughts tonight here on Kaylee's sixth birthday. Suzanne's in Pennsylvania. Good evening, Suzanne. Um, uh, Benny, I'll never forget little Kaylee when her grandmother took her to see her great-grandfather. And she looked at him and asked him if he was happy. See, I get very emotional. But maybe, just maybe, if there is a memorial, it, it'll remind people to be kind to their children. Suzanne, thank you so much. And yeah. there's, there's the photo, there's the pictures that you were talking about. And there you see uh, Kaylee with her 
great grandpa and her grandma Cindy is taking those pictures, the last pictures of, of Kaylee Marie. Uh, there's the uh, memorial tonight. And again, uh, they're raising money for it. They want to put it together. And what you have to understand is that, uh, Stacy, guys, I want to talk to you about this. I mean, people, when I was down there, people showing up. Uh, every day people show up. And then on days like today, there are lots of people who show up. And one thing that struck me, Stacy Kaiser, is that they show up um, with their children. And, and I guess it's a way for parents who have been touched by Kaylee to maybe bring their children there, to hold them a little tighter, to understand that, you know, it's such an incredible gift to have a child that you want to take care of that child. You think that's why people bring their, their children there as well? I, I think you're absolutely right. I think that is why they bring their children there. Part of what this has been for all of us who are parents is a reminder that we should be grateful for the children that we have and that we should appreciate them and hold them and hug them. But I also think that a lot of these children have been made aware of what's happened. They're talking about it in schools. It's been all over the media. And so the kids might need some closure, too, especially the older ones. And it feels a little bit like some closure to be a part of an event like this. Yeah, and you can see them. I mean, as we look at the pictures, you can see the, the little ones. They get blocked by some of the, the, the bigger folks that are there. And, and the balloons uh, being released at the end of the street where there's an actual grammar school. Um, Stacy Honowitz, uh, as... Can I just say one thing? Go ahead, Stacy. I thought, I thought it was really fascinating. The last caller, you heard her get all choked up, and I know that I've been sitting here, I was filled up. These people that had no attachment to this child, what, what this case has done, it's overwhelming that the, 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 the outpouring of love and affection for this child that they never even knew, and it still affects people. The case is gone, the case is over with, but it's Casey's a day like today off. when you are memorializing or when you are paying tribute to this person who was kind of lost in all of the mix. You know, we have these cases and we, we, we show the pictures um, and then the case goes on and we kind of lose our way in, in talking about who was lost in all this. So it's amazing really what this child has done to the nation. It has is, is brought emotions out in people that are just talking on the phone to you. So I think today is a very special day, and I think this memorial will be special for a lot of people. And like Stacey said, bring closure to a lot of people who weren't even involved in the case at all. Stacey Kaiser, the other thing is the age of Kaylee. Now, today, she's six, um, but the pictures and the images that we see, she's about two or so, and that's the age when our little ones start to really get their personality, they start to talk a little bit, they become what I call little people uh, at that time. And I think that's something else that has touched uh, everyone because I think all of us, you know, we look at our children as they grow, but we always remember those little moments between like 18 months and three years old when they started for the first time to become, they weren't babies anymore, they were little people. I think that that's part of what's painful here is she never even got to develop into her full little personness. She was just starting and budding, and I'm so glad that you're able to show some video of her talking and singing and interacting.